Okay, so the real reason that I opened up this photo booth and that I wanted to document today was to talk about an idea that I heard while listening to a podcast with James Wedmore, and they were talking about the ideation process. Um, so the things that they were talking about, they weren't new, but it was kind of interesting to hear their perspective on it. Um, but the thing that stood out to me was when James was talking about how he doesn't like get rid of ideas as easily as he feels like most people do. Um, most people, they might have an idea or think of an idea and just be like, oh, that's not going to work. And they just move on. Whereas he kind of has a process. I realize you can like see my house in that balloon. Anyway, he has a process where he um, kind of allows the idea to incubate, which I know is something that I could get better at. Like if I have an idea, I want to jump, I want to execute it and just move forward. Um, and my ideas could possibly be better if I took a step back and kind of like thought about all the potential directions that that idea could go. I know that some people have the opposite problem with me is they do a lot of incubating but they don't do a lot of like execution and they don't ever get the point get the product or the whatever to the point where it's ready to kind of be shared um because it's always incubating um and so there's like a happy middle ground that could be accomplished or you're not on the extreme that i am but you're also not like taking too long I think the next step that he has is he does testing so his products are for sale so there's a lot of layers of wanting to test the market and look at behaviors so instead of just basing whether this is a good idea or not based on people's opinion he will choose to base it on like how are people behaving are people actually um, signing up for this are people actually spending money on this you know are people actually giving their time and attention to this and then he will use those as indicators of if this is a good idea or not a good idea in addition to like how he feels about the delivery method so going back to that incubation period where you know you can explore this one idea and the different directions or forms or versions that it could take when he's doing kind of like that testing not only is he evaluating how other people are receiving this idea and responding to it also how does he feel about it is this method of delivery the best for him or may he want to try a different approach and i think the last is once he kind of does this testing and gets the feedback on that and makes any adjustments accordingly if it's a great idea they're gonna add more time and resources behind it to kind of grow it if it's an idea that he decides to not move forward with instead of kind of like throwing the baby out with the bathwater, he tries to break the idea apart to understand what aspect of this idea caught his attention and like what aspect of this idea may he want to take back to the drawing board. So an example of this that he shared was like making a pie. Um, and if he made his first pie, you know, and it turned out not to be great, he's not going to like throw out the whole pie and be like, I am done with that. Um, he's going to say, okay, there's something about this that is capturing my attention. Maybe it's the whole concept of fruit inside of a pastry, you know, and a pie doesn't have to be the final version of it yes like back in the testing phase there he could take a step back and maybe find different recipes or ways that different ingredients or different products but let's say that he went through that and at the end of the day he's just not satisfied with this pie um he could instead extract extract the components of it that he was really hoping that would work and that he could experience and then go back to the drawing board with those components um, like clearly i love this whole idea of the fruit inside of a pastry so maybe the pie isn't the final version maybe we turn it into a apple pullover he didn't use that example but um there's other ways that fruit can be inside of pastry so like maybe i can go back to the drawing board with that and he was like i feel like that's a space where a lot of creative people miss out like if their idea doesn't work um you know 
they kind of just toss out the whole idea but there's like a lot of insights that can be gathered um, from trying to extract out the part that like sung to you that spoke to you that kind of made you excited to work on this project to begin with and I was like bingo he is so right that is absolutely something that I think that I do I do it a lot um just in my life in general I find myself wanting to revisit this idea of you know sharing ideas that I think can help other people like I'm constantly reading listening to audiobooks um listening to podcasts I just be just chilling and ideas come across me and I'm like always trying to process it and think about like how do I want to use it to apply to different circumstances in my life and somehow or another I feel like I'm always coming back to creating content and for a while I feel like I was trying to understand like do I just want to create content because that's kind of like what's in right now that's what's popular and like is that what it is but I think the answer is no because I've been interested in making content since before content was like a huge thing like I was alive and well in college back when YouTube kind of first became a thing and I was always attracted to how YouTube was such a cool platform to bring all of these people together who have this like unique um who may have these like niche interests and like back in the days YouTube wasn't for like these people who looked you know polished and perfect because there wasn't like advertising or anything on it uh so it was very like authentic and it attracted to be honest like nerdy people um or like people who didn't necessarily fit into these various pockets of society and it was like a way for these people to unite and I just thought that was the coolest thing and something that I wanted to be a part of and I remember making like little home videos and like sharing discussing topics and ideas and sharing them before this huge social media wave before the Instagrams and before the TikToks and all those things I don't think that my genuine desire to like share and kind of process my ideas out loud I don't think that it comes from like wanting to do what's in you know because I was like well what is it what keeps pulling you back so when James said that um it made me just step back to say okay maybe there's a lot of things about the way that I've gone about this and the approach that I've taken maybe there's a lot that I don't like but clearly there is something there that I do like because I keep coming back to it I keep trying to revisit it I keep trying to make it work and even like I found myself kind of being interested in like maybe I should like instead of feeling like I need to make a video maybe I should make a podcast um maybe I need to write instead um so there's just this like externalizing what's in my head I think definitely helps me to process it but I also like and I think it's so cool that those same ideas like other people might be thinking about them and to be connected with people who are on that same wavelength you know and so yeah it just inspired me to think about like what about this am I attracted to that keeps having me coming back and maybe instead of making pie i'm supposed to make fruit filled pastries if that metaphor makes sense and like what would it look like for me to take the things that i like and continue to play with it continue to experiment with it instead of like throwing the whole thing out the window which is what i feel like i've been actively trying to do Um, for the last several months I'm like let this part of you die you know like the YouTube and social media is not the same social media that it was a decade and a half ago 
and like I don't like what it has become um and I don't want to be a part of it anymore it feels like yucky and gross but so it's time to move on that's what I keep trying to tell myself but maybe it's not maybe it is I don't know I, the jury is yet to decide but that podcast really had me just thinking like what is it that about it and like how do we get back to that and working with that um I don't think that I will ever be or desire to be like an influencer in the way that even the word influencer wasn't a thing back then you know I will never desire to be somebody that wants to paint themselves as having this perfect life and everything together because that's not it doesn't feel authentic and I don't I don't want to be I don't want to do anything honestly that doesn't feel like aligned and authentic to me um But I do like the concept of just having niche ideas, niche conversations for niche people, and the thought that saying those things out loud can bring people together. So I'll continue to reflect on this, but thought that I would share it for myself and for anybody else who needed that today. All right, peace and blessings.